Hi everyone, this is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center in Miami. It's around 11 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, August 17th, coming to you this morning with an update on Hurricane Ernesto. Uh, Ernesto actually made landfall on the island of Bermuda uh, very early this morning. The center right now is currently located about 50 miles north-northeast of Bermuda, but because the storm is only moving slowly toward the north-northeast at about nine miles per hour, we're still gonna have hazardous conditions occurring on Bermuda for the next uh, several hours through today and well into tonight. In fact, we're still seeing hurricane force wind gusts at some observing sites on Bermuda and those winds, hurricane force winds are gonna continue through the next few hours as Ernesto only slowly moves away and the backside of the hurricane continues to affect Bermuda with strong winds, heavy rainfall, dangerous surf, uh, tropical storm conditions on Bermuda are likely to continue well into this evening and tonight. So it's still gonna be a dangerous situation on that island for many more hours. Uh, you take a quick look at the radar from Bermuda and you can see that while the center of, of Ernesto is located up here to the north, northeast, this big rain band to the south is still gonna move across the island. Uh, could see storm total rainfall amounts of six to nine inches across Bermuda. And we're gonna continue to see dangerous storm surge with dangerous uh, waves and breaking wave conditions and uh, significant coastal flooding along portions of the Bermuda coastline that will continue uh, through today and into this evening. Uh, if we look at the forecast for Ernesto, over the next few days, we expect an acceleration toward the northeast that's going to take the center away from Bermuda during the day on Sunday, and then moving near or over portions of southeastern Newfoundland as we go from Monday night into Tuesday morning. So interest there, we'll want to keep an eye on Ernesto and look for any uh, watches that might be issued uh, perhaps tomorrow by the Canadian Hurricane Center. And then as we go on out into the week, Ernesto will lose tropical characteristics and gradually weaken and eventually dissipate as it moves out across the North Atlantic by the middle of the week. So I do want to continue to touch on the rip current risk across the United States East Coast. It's Saturday. There may be many people going to the beach, but you can see this huge area of red that extends all the way from the Florida coast uh, through Georgia, North and South Carolina, Virginia, the Mid-Atlantic states, Delmarva Peninsula, New Jersey, Long Island, and even up into uh, Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. That's the area that's indicating a high risk of rip currents today. Those are places where it's likely not gonna be safe to go into the water. So if you are at the beach, please heed any warning flags that are flying. Don't go in the water if the ocean appear, does not appear safe and follow any instructions you're given by lifeguards or other local officials. And if we look at the rip current risk on Sunday, it's basically the same except the high risk extends all the way up now into Northern New England into the main coast. So pretty much the whole East Coast is gonna be at a high risk with a few areas also at moderate risk of dangerous surf and rip current conditions that's gonna continue through the weekend. So please, a, a reminder that distant hurricanes can cause dangerous surf and rip current conditions. And those, again, only go in uh, the ocean if you think it's safe and follow any advice you're given by your local lifeguards and please heed those uh, warning flags at the beach so you don't become a, a statistic to uh, Ernesto's dangerous ocean conditions. So let's wrap up with the key points for Ernesto on this Saturday morning. Uh, the impacts on Bermuda, first of all, are not over. Even though the center has passed, there's gonna be many more hours of dangerous conditions, strong winds, heavy rainfall, coastal flooding, battering waves are likely to continue through tonight. So residents in Bermuda are gonna to wanna to shelter in place in a safe place, uh, likely until we get to Sunday. Uh, and uh, we could see, again, considerable life-threatening flash flooding, especially in low-lying places on the island. Ernesto is again forecast to create uh, dangerous surf and rip current conditions that are already ongoing and will continue through the weekend along the U.S. East Coast. Beachgoers should be aware of significant risk there and follow any advice and stay out of the water if you're advised to do so by lifeguards. And Ernesto could bring some wind, wave, and rain impacts to portions of southeastern Newfoundland uh, late Monday and Monday night. So residents there are going to want to uh, monitor the progress of Ernesto through the next uh, couple of days. So uh, just to wrap up, this is going to be our last live stream on Ernesto from here at the Hurricane center but you can continue to come back to hurricanes.gov uh, throughout Ernesto's life cycle and get information there residents in Bermuda will want to see products from the Bermuda Weather Service and from uh, uh, folks in, in Newfoundland will want to uh, check in for updates from the Canadian Hurricane Center and for interest along the US East Coast for that risk of rip currents you can get your uh, local uh, beach information and rip current risk at weather.gov beach thanks for joining us uh, please stay safe I'm Mike Brennan at the National Hurricane Center